All right, you guys, so I just woke up and it's 8.43. I know I'm usually up at like five, but that's no problem at all because we were up to like two last night just getting a bunch of work done. So I kind of had to sleep in a little bit. So as you can see, I'm already getting a knock on my door. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Ready to work out? Yeah. I usually like to work out just because it's something that makes your whole entire body feel better and it's just good for you. So it's good for your brain. It's good for every single part of your body, which will ultimately increase your productivity. The 30 minutes you spend going to the gym is going to make you have a substantially higher level of energy throughout the whole entire day simply because you got your blood flowing in the morning and spending 30 minutes working out is not only good for you, but also will just make you more productive, which will ultimately make you more money and make you better in your life. And that's exactly why I like to do that. All right, you guys, some real sauce that I've never shared on this channel before is this stuff right here. I'm so surprised I've never told you guys about this. I don't think I have though. It's this stuff right here. Rose water, you guys. And then you've got this little aloe cucumber and green tea spray. These two things, they're by Mario Badesco and they're both so nice. It's like 10 bucks for this, like five bucks for this. And all you do is just spray this on your face. Just boom. First thing in the morning, it just wakes you up. I do this throughout my day too, you guys. I be using this stuff all day long. Like throughout my day, if I'm ever feeling tired, I just spray this real quick. If I'm about to do a meeting, about to record a video, I spray this stuff real quick and I instantly wake up. Another thing you guys wanna make sure you do is use deodorant with no aluminum. You guys wanna make sure you're using deodorant with no aluminum because if deodorant has aluminum in it, it's very, very bad for you. So with that being said, this little raw sugar deodorant is what I like to use. So yeah. This stuff is fire though, you guys. You wanna make your cologne last longer. All you gotta do is grab the lotion. That's the same scent as the cologne you're about to wear and just rub it right here and rub it on your wrist. Same exact thing with just a stick of deodorant. If you just grab something like this and go like that, it makes the cologne, it's like wax. So it makes the cologne last longer on your body. Usually you guys hear me talk about these little notebooks, the little thought books that you guys can write down like your goals in, right? Which is really good because these books are awesome and I'll have the link in the description. They're published on Amazon by me if you want one. They're little notebooks where you could write down one lesson you learned each day and then your goal as soon as you wake up and your goal right before you go to sleep. Super, super sick notebooks. I also feel like one of the ways this mission statement works is just because I'm literally saying, you know, exactly what I want to do and exactly what I'm going to do that day and exactly what type of energy I'm going to set the day for. It kind of sets the tone of the day, which is why I like doing this. I'm just going to read it. So I receive 10K a day in payouts. I build meaningful relationships. I have an organized and clean personal life. I lead by example and create the energy. I lead with integrity, honesty, and compassion. I lead and operate with radical open-mindedness, yet aware of the weak and any who slow the goal down. I commit to be fair, truthful, and honest in my decisions, aware, hopeful, and mindful to my beliefs, but most importantly, I commit to be me. But what I want to be every day. And this changes all the time. Like I rewrite this almost, you know, weekly. You can rewrite this stuff all the time, but the important thing is just that you have one, you know? I've been able to do over seven figures in multiple different business models. Before the time I even turned 20, I'm now 21. And basically my whole life has changed a lot due to business and due to learning about e-commerce and all this sort of stuff. And I know a lot of you guys watching hopefully want to get to that level one day soon or are even at that level currently. For me, it's not about waking up and running a 5K or doing all this crazy stuff, you guys. For me, I've really broken it down to the most important things I need to get done. Whatever I need to do throughout that day, I'm getting done throughout that day and whatever else goes on isn't really too big of a thing to me. If I tried to get every single task that I could do done in one day, it would be physically impossible because I have so many different tasks that I'm working on all the time. So mainly, if you wanna have an effective daily routine, you just have to prioritize what's important, you guys. So after 3 p.m., usually that's when I move from business mode to creative mode and just start thinking about new ideas, new ways that I could create content. Like anything that you do substantially, you know, on a different level than an average person would, you could show up. You don't even have to be that good necessarily. Be passionate. Like yeah. You're always talking about yeah, it. Exactly. That's really where it's yeah. at. Yeah. It's crazy to see like people are like, oh, you know, I divide all my like, they call it their like off time that they do their like passion yeah like you gotta always be on like, and you could find small passions like even if you can't fully work on your passion obviously because it's like unrealistic to just say like oh everybody just 
to go work on what you love because it's like I you got to do what you don't love to you know get there a lot of times but it's like i feel like in every little thing you could find a little bit of uh, passion or if you say you want to be a twitch streamer a i want to be crazy, a twitch streamer you know, yeah or a crazy like you could go get a job that pertains to marketing or digital content or content creation in some sort of way that could help work your way into the industry versus like just thinking like oh you know it's never going to happen altogether type of thing like i feel like a lot of people expect it to just be like you know they have to all of a sudden get the opportunity to become a youtuber with a million subscribers yeah. they think they have to like wait for an opportunity. there's no opportunity you are the you know opportunity I mean? yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. But I feel like I always hear, I, I hear a lot of like. But no, you're right. Dude. You can do anything. Like I love Yu-Gi-Oh cards, dude. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I bought <laughs> another. I bought you're, another you're tin today. Off passion. And I had. You I, bought another tin. Yeah, but then I, oh. I got another forty dollar card in it, so we're good. What, I made a spreadsheet like to track my expenses. If you're gonna like yeah. trade and like do <laughs> yeah. this and like actually make money, you gotta track your spending. And this is so important and so, so, so commonly overlooked. In fact, out of this whole entire list that I'm going over, this is probably the most common pillar that's completely ignored by 99% of people. And most likely the reason that 99% of people never see the success that they set themselves out to see or that they desire in their life. And that is knowing your reason for doing it. If I didn't know my reason for waking up every morning and doing the things that I do, I wouldn't really know what to do at all or have any motivation to do those things because I don't know why I'm doing them. If you don't know why you're doing something, don't do it until you understand why. Think about the real reason that's deeper than a Lamborghini, deeper than a house for the reason that you're doing the things that you need to do. You just have to clearly know your goals and what you're going for. Take a second to spend some time with yourself without any friends, without any distractions and write down what you really want to get out of your life. Why are you living? What is the point in you being on this earth? Know that, understand that because nobody else is going to understand that for you and you're not going to understand anybody else's care for you if you don't understand your care for yourself first. When it comes to finding your why, here are some crucially important things that you could do right now to help out. Number one is going to be clear yourself of all distractions, your friends, your family. And then number two is going to be to pull out a notebook, a pencil and start writing down the things you like to do and the feelings you like to give to other people. I like to make people laugh. I like to make people feel confident. I like to make people feel like they have everything they need to have a good time, right? I'm constantly I smell good, Gucci cologne. I don't wanna fuck. Give me some dome. Bitch, be 